I'm Caroline Hogan. We begin tonight with an update after an officer involved a shooting in Appleton last night. That shooting left one man dead and now the Wisconsin Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation is investigating. It happened on the 1500 block of North Birchwood Avenue. Officers responded to a call of a domestic disturbance. The DOJ said officers arrived and confronted a man who was armed with a handgun. Officers tried negotiating with him and later they fired their guns, hitting the man. He was taken to a local hospital where he later died. Again, this incident is still under investigation. In Nina, today was the Bergstrom Mahler Museum of Glass inaugural Glass Arts Festival. It's the first arts festival that the museum has held since the pandemic. People of all ages came out to ooh and ah at the works of art. So we have over 30 artists from all around the country with us today, including a lot from Wisconsin. And it's just a way to reinforce our mission, but also celebrate that very special glass form. Moorfield said her favorite part was watching festival goers admire and learn about the art together with the artists. Temperatures this morning starting off into the 60s and we only rose just a couple of degrees as we head throughout our afternoon today. So it's feeling a little bit like fall out there. Plus a weekend washout heavy downpours nearly four inches accumulated into Sturgeon Bay, Howard as well and into the Green Bay area picking up nearly an inch of rainfall. So we're going to start to see some rising rivers and streams. We could potentially still see some localized flooding, but it did get rid of some of those drought conditions, although we are still a little bit dry into the Northwoods.